Hey, my name is Shai. Today, I would like to present another advanced shader. As you can see, I built some skin using shader nodes. From afar, this skin looks pretty lifelike, but up close, we can see some really fine details. As you may have guessed, I need to use subsurface scattering to get these results. One of the first things I used to create a convincing result was bump. So I need to create a height map for the skin flakes. Over here, we have a few layers of Voronoi. I used a combination of the distance to edge and F1 setting to produce an organic looking result. I did this at multiple scales, so the smallest scale is for fine details. Of course, I added some noise to my height input to make it seem more organic. After adding multiple layers for small irregularities like rashes or red dots, it started to look pretty realistic. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm using subsurface scattering and I set it to 0.1. I did some googling and I think the correct subsurface values to simulate skin range between 0.1 and 0.2. I'm on the lower end since I like having crisp and small details in my shader and I don't want them to get washed away in candle wax. I left the subsurface radius to its default since Blender's default radius is designed for skin as far as I know. After that, I simulated some subdermal details. Underneath all of the skin, I made two vein masks. The first one is pretty small. It's two variants of noise added together. The other one is quite big and it's pretty thick too. I used both of these masks to reveal a purplish hue, making it seem like real skin. I didn't really know what to do with the roughness of the skin. In reference images and real life, the skin is more reflective in cracks and crevices between the skin flakes. Maybe that's where oil gathers? I don't really know. I took this into consideration by lowering the roughness in between the skin bumps. One of my favorite details in the shader are the freckles and warts. They were pretty fun to make. So first, I divided the shader in Voronoi cells. I centered texture coordinates on each of the cells. I instanced a circle on each of the texture coordinates. I gave each cell a random value and then used a less than node to make it a binary black or white. After that, I multiplied my Voronoi warts with my random cell mass to get a kind of bias, so I can slide this threshold to increase the likelihood of a wart or decrease it. So I can choose if I want fewer freckles or more freckles. Okay, we have these gradients now, but how do we turn them into warts? First, I added the wart mask to my bump map. This means the warts appear to protrude outwards. On top of that, I added contrast by making the freckles darker. This detail is small, but I think it produces some nice irregularities. This shader graph is a bit scary. To make it easier to understand, I can separate the different features using frames. This group makes the small and large veins. This group makes the small red freckles, and this group makes the larger brown freckles. This general area is for the bump input, but some of these nodes here are for the roughness. The rest are mostly for adding some color details, and they're pretty unimportant. Most of this shader used object coordinates, but the veins did use UVs since I want them to flow along the mesh. Now you know how I made this skin shader, and I hope at least one concept stuck out to you, and maybe you'll apply it to your own shaders. Thanks for watching, bye.